Now, you've used that phrase a few times. Can you tell us what you mean when you say psychological safety? Psychological safety means you're in an environment where it's okay to take interpersonal risk without fear of recrimination or retribution. It's not going to be damaging to your career. You're not going to be canceled, Eddie, in today's in today's language. You will not be canceled for asking tough questions or telling your boss he or she is out to lunch, that they do not know what they're talking about. If you don't have an environment like that, and that's and that's a research environment, we're constantly butting heads. We're discussing, you know, what is what is the true behavior of this phenomenon? Are we analytically predicting it correctly? Do are we making the right assumptions? And we're constantly testing those assumptions and we're comparing it with real data to validate what we know. When you stop doing that, when you stop allowing that criticism you have a non-psychologically safe culture. You're inviting groupthink. You're inviting an echo chamber. Yes. And is it not true that the challenge that led to several of these challenges or these catast- catastrophic events is groupthink was allowed to creep in because people were not challenging leadership? Absolutely. Absolutely. The people, for instance, the people on the two teams that made those terrible decisions, the shuttle O-ring team and the what was called the leading edge structural subsystem problem resolution team, the LESSPRT. These were the people that in their minds, they knew everything about the wing leading edge and they did not go outside their team to bring in other experts when they knew that they did not have someone that understood ballistic impact damage to that wing. They did not bring those people in. These were people that were within their own agency. They could have reached out to people at other NASA centers to help them, and they did not do so because they knew, they thought they understood the problem when they really did. It goes back to your point earlier about diverse thinking. 